Hi guys, it's Miss B here and I'm back with another video. Um, don't mind my waist trainer, stomach band, whatever you want to call it. We're all on quarantine and I'm trying to keep this waist together while we're at home eating all this good food. So I have this on today. So today I'll be making cilantro lime chicken. Yes, I'll be using tenderloins to make my cilantro lime chicken. And the reason why I like tenderloins is because they're smaller and they're easier to work with and they're like a better proportion size i have two limes and i have my cilantro i keep my cilantro in a glass like this with some water because it helps it last much longer it doesn't go bad fast i'm going to use garlic powder adobo seasoning and some black pepper these are you don't want to use too many different ingredients because you're going to get flavor from the cilantro and the lime so those are all the seasons that you really need so I'm going to take a handful of cilantro. Um, yeah, you just need a handful to make about six to eight tenderloins. You don't need too much. So you just take that out and then I'm going to um, cover my cilantro back up and pop it back in the back of my refrigerator so that it can continue to be fresh. Okay, so here I'm going to take my cilantro and I'm going to take my kitchen scissors. I'm sorry, I didn't do this in the camera better. I just cut the stems off and then I'm going to put, place it in a strainer bowl so that I can rinse it off and clean it before I cut it. Okay, so now that I have cleaned my cilantro, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to roll it together. Try to roll it up into like a line and then I'm going to take the kitchen scissors and I'm just going to chop them. I'm going to move my fingers back and I'm going to chop down the line. Just chop, chop, chop. Roll it together and chop. This is how I learned to cut cilantro when I was younger. Before I knew my way around a knife, I learned to do it with the kitchen scissors. So, don't come for me in the comments like, why didn't you use a knife? You can use a knife. That's fine. That's more than perfect. But for me, old habits die young. So, that's why I am using my kitchen shears. I just like to, to do it like this. There's no real reason why I'm doing it this way. So, you just go through and chop. And if you find that some pieces are too big for you like if they're not fine enough you can just go back through and chop again i have seen some people use a food processor but you don't necessarily need to do that like a rough chop is fine this a few stems in there is totally fine you don't have to you know try to get it very very fine and very very small no that's not what we're going for i still like to see my cilantro i still there's nothing wrong with the texture of it or anything like that so just rough chop it all the way through and you'll be just fine okay so after I clean my chicken this is something that I like to do with these tenderloins all of them don't have this but this you see this little skin right here it's like this it's not skin but the little film I like to take this off with my chicken it just makes it chewy you don't have to take it off but I like to take it off it makes it chewy and this little membrane right here I guess that will be the membrane. I don't know. I just like to take this off as well. Take both of these parts off. And just have my chicken breast like this. And I like to put it in the bag because this is where I'm going to season it at. So I'm going to clean all of them and set them in the bag. Okay, so here I have my limes and... um. What I'm, I put them in the microwave for 15 seconds, so now I'm just going to roll them. I'm going to take the palm of my hand and I'm going to roll them. This helps them release more juices, make them more tender. You don't want to put too much pressure on them, but just put a little bit of pressure on it just to help you roll it out. Um, this is me just applying a little extra pressure. Don't put them in the microwave for more than 10 to 15 seconds because you don't want them to bust open. So now that I have rolled them out, I'm going to cut them in half. And the reason why I'm cutting them in half is so that I can squeeze them over my uh, seasoned chicken breast. And with either by hand or with a lemon or lime squeezer. So I have my limes cut in half and I'm going to move them off to the side because that's the very last thing that you want to add to your chicken breast. So I'm going to add my cilantro, my chopped cilantro. I'm going to add that into the bag. And again, this uh, much cilantro is good for about six to eight tenderloins. So here I'm just showing you I have it all added into the bag. 
And now I'm gonna start adding my seasonings. I have my garlic powder. I have my adobo seasoning, which is like salt. It's kind of salty, so I'm just using this adobo seasoning. And I'm going to add some black pepper. Now, you can season this to how you like it. it there's no specific measurement. Season it to your taste. Season it how you would like to season your chicken. If you just want to use salt and black pepper, that's perfectly fine too. But I use my go-to seasonings, what I think goes well with this chicken. So now that I have my chicken seasoned, I'm going to mix it up. One thing that I did forget was to add a few teaspoons of olive oil, like two to three teaspoons of olive oil. Um, I usually add that. It usually helps get everything mixed around and, and um, all on the chicken very well, but I forgot in this video. Like I said, we're on quarantine. We're at home. So much going on. Sorry, I forgot. So here is me squeezing the lime into the bag. Now, even though I did the rolling and I put my lime in the microwave, it's still pretty hard to squeeze. I feel like I'm just not getting enough juices out of that lime. So I resorted to my lime slash lemon squeezer. I resorted to that because I just knew I needed more juices. Like that was not just gonna cut it. So here I am squeezing out my limes. And as you can see, I'm getting way more juice with the squeezer than just by hand. Now, if you got strong muscles, more power to you. And if you don't have a lemon squeeze, I know you got to work with what you got. Put your strong arms on and squeeze it on out. I'm going to take the line that I had at first trying to squeeze by hand. And I'm going to put that in my squeezer. And I'm going to squeeze. And look, look at that. Look at how much more juice I am able to get out with the squeezer than by hand. It's crazy, but yeah, I knew it was more juice in that lime, so that's why I went for that. But like I said, if you don't have it, it's perfectly fine to do it by hand. So now I'm just mixing it up. I'm just mixing everything up. Remember, add your limes last. If you want to let it marinate, just let it marinate without the lime juice. Put the lime juice on right before you cook it. Don't put the lime juice in and then cook it because the, the acidity from the lime juice starts to cook the chicken. So I felt like I needed another half of the lime, so I just squeezed that into it. And don't put the other lime back in the refrigerator because we're going to use that later. But this is me just squeezing. So I use a lime and a half just to squeeze over the seasoned chicken. And I'm going to mix it again. Mix it up very, very well. See why the bag comes in handy? Because it keeps all those juices together. Because you want those juices your lime to be sitting in it soaking in it things of that nature so that's why i do it in the bag but you could do it in a bowl that's perfectly fine but for me i like to do it in the bag so i'm going to show you two different ways to cook this the first way is in the air fryer here i have lined the air fryer with lumina foil i have made like a bowl out of the lumina foil i put placed it in my air fryer the reason why i did this because the air fryer has holes at the bottom of it and i don't want my juices to to leak out I wanted to stay inside the chicken I wanted to stay with the chicken so that's why I made a little bowl and I put it inside of my air fryer so when I set my chicken in there my chicken will stay in the juices the air fryer is used to for healthy purposes so the juices from like fatty chicken or fatty foods run off of it but this is lean chicken breast so I don't want my juices to fall off because then I don't want it to be dry I want my juices you see like those juices dripping i want those juices to stay with the chicken it's gonna help keep it moist so that's why i made this little makeshift bowl for to go inside of my air fryer and in my air fryer it's pretty small so i can only fit about four chicken tenderloins in there so i'm showing you that um the chicken is kind of turning colors i'm not sure if you can you all can see that but it's kind of turning white because the acidity from the limes is cooking the chicken then I'm going in and I'm taking some of the cilantro that's just hanging out in the bag and putting it on the piece of chicken that I feel like don't have enough cilantro. If I feel like it don't have enough, I'll just take some out of the bag and put it on there because I like cilantro. I like cilantro on lime. Like this is one of my favorite dishes. Okay, so my chicken is all ready to go in the air fryer. I'm gonna pop it in. I'm gonna set the temperature for 320 degrees and I'm gonna cook it for about 20 minutes. If you want a full review on my air fryer, check out my other video. Just lay them in the pan. I should have put it in the pan with the, with the real part. That would have been so nice. 
ones that's in the air fryer, they're almost done. And you can see the juice, I'm gonna hold it like that. They're almost done and you can see the juice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze some of this fresh lime juice over it. And then I'm gonna put it back in the air fryer for about a month. Once it's in the air fryer, they're almost done. And you can see the juice. I'm gonna hold it like that. They're almost done. And you can see the juice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze some of this fresh lime juice over it. And then I'm gonna put it back in the air fryer for about another five. Okay, so here I'm just taking the chicken and I'm moving it around the pan. I cooked it for about 10 minutes on each side, flipping them uh, back and forth like once or twice so that it can evenly cook. These ones will be a little darker than the ones in the air fryer because you get the little burnt crisps that form in the pan, which is totally fine. Some people like that. I personally love the little burnt edges. So I just cook them up and then I just take them out and set them on a plate. And let them rest okay so this is how my chicken turned out look at that they look so delicious they turned out just perfect they're still very tender um it's not dry or anything like that they still look great like i said it's just going to be a little darker than the ones in the air fryer and here are the chicken tenderloins that i put in the air fryer now again you can cook this in the air fryer on top of the stove in the oven but look at that this just looks great and you still see those juices that's why i made that makeshift aluminum foil bowl so the juices can stay in there so i'm just going to take these out and i'm going to set them on the plate as well and then dinner is served and this is my finished product you guys i'm just pouring the lime juice out of the pan onto the chicken look at that deliciousness cilantro lime chicken thank you for joining us fake and bake out